Danny, it's gonna be okay, babe. No, it's not. Shut up, asshole. And let her go. That wouldn't be in my best interest. Brent, if you don't let her go, what happens next will definitely not be in your best interest. Brant, if you don't let her go, what happens next will definitely not be in your best interest. Michael, what the hell? I know, Ray. I know. This is bullshit. This is, what, the 229th? 233rd. This is the 233rd time that you've rewritten this scene. I know. Do you? Because we've been stuck in this... Ikea hell for four months now. My energy's gone, so this scene's not working. This scene isn't about your energy. It's like a machine. Every part has to be in good order for it to function. You're kidding, right? I'm the star. If the final scene isn't comparable to my greatness, then the scene doesn't work. Are you serious? Guys, this isn't helping Michael. Thank you. Instead of bickering and whining, how about some criticism? Constructive, constructive criticism. Well, the dialogue could use a little work. Like what? Well, it's flat. It's basic. It's not distinctive. Our personalities are gone. Mine is apparently cowering, whimpering female. Never not complaining. Kiss my ass, Ray. What happened to my spine? I was a battlefield surgeon. Ray and I have a meet cute during a convenience store holdup. I keep my cool and I save the clerk's life. But when Brant shows up, I'm suddenly as hysterical as a reality show housewife? What do you want me to do, Danny? Make me a part of my own rescue. Then these two can kill the shit out of each other. She's right. You're taking all these shortcuts for plot convenience. Don't dumb us down to play up Ray. It's cheapening the scene. Just do it, Michael. Make him talk fancy. Let her burn her brawl off. Change this damn location. Make it sexy. <sighs> Did you really think you could take me out so easily? Did you really think you could take me out so easily? God, this sounds so stupid. Michael, calm down. Delete and revise. Well, Ray. If I had known this is where we would end up, I would have left you in that well. You pushed him in that well. That was an accident. However, killing you will not be an accident. If Ray doesn't give me what I want. Go to hell. <laughs> I depend on it. Go ahead and put a bullet in his head. You're so spunky. I love it. Almost makes me sad to put a bullet in your brain. Let her go, Brad. That wouldn't be in my best interest. If you don't let her go, what happens next will definitely not be in your best interest. Put the gun down, or I will blow this bitch's head off. Holy shit. Oh my god! What the hell happened? I'm so sorry. It just happened. I was typing the scene playing out in my head, and my mind was like, seriously? She's gonna shove a gun away with it pressed right against her temple? That is so stupid. She would get her head blown off. Then, phew. Are you in competition with George R.R. R. Martin? I just blew her head off! Maybe her death adds to the story. How? Brent realizes he's not going to get his money back, so he says, screw it. Blows her head off. He kills Danny, giving you your opening to take him out. Danny's death drives you even more as a cop, takes you to dark places. Just imagine your character arc and the other sequels! No, no. My story arc has enough of this shit. My family was murdered while I just hid in the closet. My last girlfriend was a cartel plant who took a bullet for me. And my dog was killed in a car explosion. Now my fiance's head gets blown off. Oh my god, Danny. Brent, shut up. This is overkill. Nobody wants to cheer for a hero who only has bad things happening to him. My last name should be Stark. It's depressing. And it makes me look bad. Okay, I'm fixing it. You know, you really do take after your father, Ray. 
Never could leave well enough alone. And you took after yours, if you think killing people's well enough. I want my money. Or this blonde's head is gonna get a little more airy. Let. Her. Go. Put the gun down or I'll blow this bitch's head off. Do it, Ray. Take the shot. Son of a bitch, why? Put the gun down. Who's that? Where the hell did she come from? Who are you? I'm back up. Who's back up? Yours. No, no, Michael! Let me explain. Try. I've been thinking, maybe you should have a protege, someone who grows to be your partner. You learn to work with others, to be a part of a team, a family. It would be great character development. What is it with this character development? No, this is my movie. I'm the rogue loner. I'm Batman. Batman had Robin. No one's talking to you, generic Dick Grayson. Besides, Robin's the worst thing that happened to Batman. Dick Grayson is awesome. Basically, he's Batman if Bruce Wayne went to therapy and wasn't an asshole. Are you saying Nightwing is better than Batman? On some level, yes. He progresses as a character. Character development, all good stories have it. Yes, he stops the villain and saves Gotham, but he lives in perpetual guilt. He always has to have someone to save or a villain to defeat. He's a stagnant character. His Bat family fleshes him out. So you're saying I'm a stagnant character? Robin does humanize Batman. You could use some growth. Who gives a shit about Dick Grayson? Michael, your current dumbass idea is this teen angst reject. I can't work like this. Michael. Here we go. What pacifying advice do you have for Michael that makes me look weak? Look, <coughs> Ray's right. The sidekick can't take out the nemesis. Listen to the dying man's wishes, Michael. Batman may have Robin, but Robin doesn't take out the Joker. <sighs> Fine, she's gone. Michael, quit stressing. Just write me kicking Brant's ass. I save Danny, we make out, roll credits. Boom. It's not that easy. Everything I come up with is fast and furious, ex machina. Just write it. I'll make it good. I don't want it to be good. I want it to be great. Guys, I need to take a break and figure this out. Let go, Brad! Or I'm gonna shoot you! Oh. Hello, Ray. Brant? You okay? I'm ecstatic. Oh, I'm sorry. He was talking to you. You may speak. I'm fine. I'd be great if you put a hole in his head. Mm, she's awesome. Can't imagine why you haven't married her yet. And depending on your answer to my question, you two won't be enjoying that dream honeymoon of yours. Where's my money, Ray? 2012 Ronald Reagan Drive, I believe. I think that's the home of the uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation. I did not want to hear that. I want my money back. Maybe if you weren't such a cocky dick, you wouldn't have lost your money in the first place. She's right. Your arrogance is why I got your money and why I almost caught you. Almost caught me. 
You're right. My arrogance got in the way of that. But I won't make the same mistake twice. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! It's too late to close my tab. Are you kidding me? Well, aren't you a little firecracker? So what are you feeling? My place or yours? My place may be closer. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Finally. Don't dwell on it. Just press send. I mean, it doesn't matter that Brandt, a brilliant sociopath who could be this franchise's most popular villain, was caught in some lowly bar and not killed in explosive blaze of glory. Or that Grey got help from a beat cop who looks like she can star in her own Teen Inks Love Octagon CW series. Wait a minute. Raymond Marks doesn't have to be this generation's John McClane. Rain the officer could be this generation's Riggs and Murtaugh. Well, shit. <laughs>